Hi everyone, Caroline here. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today I want to show you how to make a box frame card, which is a bit of a special card if you want to do something for a special occasion. Uh, we're going to use A4 paper and depending on the size of the card you want to make will determine the length of it. So um, what you do want to, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm making a seven by seven card. So I want to do that at seven inch, seven inch, and then at five inch. And then I'm going to score every inch along, which will give us five panels. So we're going to score at four and at three, at two, and at one, like that. Pop that away for a minute. So then <clears throat> on the long length, I'll put it on black so that you can see. Um, let me pop that over there. And uh, what you want to do is you want to measure from the top down one inch. Just make a little mark. And the same on the second panel down, one inch. And then draw your line across, just so that you've got a guide for cutting. And then from, you can see this, where you've scored in that corner there, you're gonna cut up to that corner. So from that corner to that line there, that you've just done, do a little line up and then we're going to cut that so that's that in effect is the um is the way it looks and that's how it should be f when it's finished so you've gone across two and you've gone up one and you're left with two full ones and then you're going to use your um, your bone folder or whatever you've got to, to, to burnish those uh, folds. Nice and nice strong burnishing on those folds to make them sharp. Like that. Because when it folds, that's where it, it folds in. So I'll do that again. As it folds over like that so that you're left with a cube at the bottom and you'll see you've got one side that's mitered and one side that's flat so we're just going to glue down here uh, <clears throat> no before we do that I'm going to actually um, use a stencil and decorate <clears throat> excuse me decorate my frame for this I'm using uh, my uh, Moroccan mosaic stencil from Stamps by Me and I want to make sure that you've got a, a stencil that's you know quite a big stencil that you're not because uh, this is seven inch long yeah double check <clears throat> just a, a, a little tip as well measure the blank cards you've got because quite often the smaller than they'll say the seven by six by six, seven by seven, eight by eight, but that's usually the size of the envelope and not the size of the card. So when you are cutting, you know, you say cut to seven, cut to whatever, measure your card first and cut to whatever your card is for the back. So that's just a bit of a tip. So um, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to use uh, Distress Oxide Warm Lipstick. And I'll use my Imala uh, blending brush, which is nice. You get a lovely, you know, it does. It isn't bitty. It's it's nice and smooth. And if you're doing a design, make sure that it's all uh, going to go the right way. So this will be um, probably the top. I'll just use a generic one that you've got. 
like that. And you see? And your mitres are going to go in the corner. Make sure you've got your, your pattern on there, okay. Like that. I've uh, pre-done some and uh, for the base, for the, for the bottom of it, you can actually stamp your uh, whatever you want on. Um, so do that before you glue up. It's a nice stencil, this quite a generic one so you know can you say that will be the bottom that will be the top that's the bottom that's the top I'll just do the other two and which will be the sides They do make for a, a very special card when you do them with um, uh, a frame around. You will see it when I've finished and it is pretty. You will like it. Or you can just leave it to white or whatever colour cardstock you're using. Even um, a, a, a metallic card, you know, a mirror card. That's nice as well. So we're going to go ahead and, and glue this now. Over there. And uh, like I say, we're going to glue on this small edge. Just make sure that it, it goes up to the to that very edge there. So that it's nice and neat for it when they're all joining together with not too much of a gap. Again, down this short edge at the end. And pop that together. They are quite quick to make. And um, they do make for really unusual cards. Finally, this one. Put a bit too much on there, don't I? Okay. Now, the square end goes into the mitered end so that you can see where the mitre is on the corner. Same with that one. And so the square into the mitre, square into the mitre. And that's how the frame will be. So we're gonna glue it now. <coughs> Excuse me. You glue the flat end and that end and in there so when that goes in sorry it's just the two sides just make sure that they they line up nicely and you see the flat edge on there I'm a little bit hoarse today. So the flat edge there and the mitered edge there needs gluing. And then 
and that fits in. Make sure your mighty edge there is nicely glued. final one in and that's your frame <coughs> don't excuse me just have a drink a little bit of sparkling water Now the back should measure exactly uh, seven by seven on this. It should be round about seven by seven. Like I say, under there, if it's not sticking, put some more glue under and make sure that they are well stuck like that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, I did actually do a. a a live of this on the Crafty Army with Carly. If you want to come and join in the group, I do lives every week. So the back, you're going to need a piece of card to measure the same for it to go on. So if you turn it over, right thereabouts, it doesn't have to be exact as long as it covers that gap in the middle, like that. But it does actually show you that um, how you have to have your exact measurements when you're gluing it all together. But we're not being precious today because uh, this is just a demonstration of how to do, to cut it out. Obviously, if you want to, to just do a frame, you don't have to put a card on. But if you do want to put a card on, that uh, opens up and uh, this one says celebrating style, that can be then glued onto your card. I'm not quite happy with that, but there's not a lot I can do about that. It's glued down there. I just put some glue in there. Bring that over. There we are. And just make it sure it's the right way around. And uh, glue around the edge of your card. Like I say, make sure it's the same size. And then pop that on your card. Like that. So your card is at the back then. And when they open the card, there you have it. You have your card. And then you can fill it with whatever you want. I've been making some little paper, paper roses to go in. <coughs> and this paper is uh, from Dalton Manor. Now, uh, the launch of these papers is on um, Create and Craft on the 1st of August with our lovely Carly Duff. And um, it's some of the papers, they're doing all sorts of different papers, but this one, uh, and it's like a textured one, but it's absolutely perfect for making flowers. And it comes in, in lots of different colors. So I, I've had a go at uh, doing it with the white because there's a white paper uh, and I thought I'll, I'll fit some flowers in here just to make it nice. So let's have a go at that and see how we go on. 
I'm using a bit of uh, pin flare glue because it doesn't dry straight away uh, and um, which is the best part of it because you can move them again if you need to so it doesn't it doesn't dry straight away this is the pin flare so it's a bit squashed up uh, but it's a clear clear PVC glue or PVA whatever it is so it's looking I'm going like I'm going to get four roses beautiful card this can make now this this flower this rolls that I'm, I'm doing is actually the tattered lace cabbage rolls die uh, which I've used I don't know if any of you have got that or whatever flower die you have Like I say, it's on uh, the Dalton Manor paper is on Create and Craft, fifteenth of August. Uh, sorry, um, the first of August. Create and Craft, scrap that. <laughs> uh, Create and Craft, first of August with Carly Duff, uh, and it's uh, the Dalton Manor uh, textured papers and all the uh, little paper extras as well with little flowers and. Oh, there's all sorts on there. Have a look. Do have a look. Yeah, first of all, I think it's at five o'clock. But double check. Just double check. It's not easy to get out of. I think it's dried up a little bit inside. Just uh, move some of that over. There we are. And this is one of the pinks that are in the set. So I'm just going to put one pink one there. Just to stand out in there. somebody getting a card like this wouldn't that be lovely we'd all like to receive cards like this wouldn't we but as crafters this is what we can do isn't it So it's, what it's basically done, it's given the, made the inside 5 inch by 5 inch. You can do some lovely 3D work uh, in these frames. see 
How pretty is that? I've just not put that on very well, but uh, there we have it. I'll put a bit more glue on that one. These will all dry overnight and stick perfectly. What do you think? Yeah, you like that? Nice, isn't it? Pretty. Right, um, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Like I say, if you like making flowers, go on to the, um, to the Dalton Manor on Create and Craft and have a look at all the beautiful uh, things that they're selling on the paper. I've been making some samples for that and it really is lovely. Uh, all different things to play with. And, um, and make yourself a little box frame card. So, it'll be like that. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, give us a thumbs up and uh, feel free to share. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.